up at 6 o'clock that morning. I had worked undercover the night before, and waking up felt like getting clapped on the head by a 2x4. I had to go into the office that morning to run some background checks, traffic citations, nothing really, just the usual. The life of a PI isn't as glamorous as it's made out to be. Things around the office had been pretty slow lately, but I guess a quiet house in my department was good for the streets, so I couldn't complain. That's how it was until that file got dropped on my desk. Mike Roch, quite possibly the biggest case in my department's history. Local DA couldn't handle the case, and the feds didn't want to touch it, so it was dropped on me. Thing is, no one had ever gotten close enough to tag him with anything real. That night, I left on what I thought was a good lead. A dime dropper who called himself Kobe said he could show me the door to the boss. Got a light brick? Yeah. Now listen, you gotta give me some information about the mob boss. I can only get you this. Now you listen. If any of that gets out, I'll kill you. Little did I know, that door would lead me down a path of treachery and deceit. And there was no turning back. Honey. Nielsen's on to you. What are you going to do about it? Don't even worry about it, sweet cheeks. <laughs> I took the lead Kobe gave me and ran with it. I had a midnight rendezvous to make. She knew I was coming for her, and part of me wanted her to. The plan was to follow her to her apartment, and no one was supposed to see us. You. You've got what I need, babe, and I've come to get it. Unfortunately, things didn't go as planned.